a night of violence in New Orleans. And now we've learned that a high school student set to graduate in just a matter of weeks was one of the victims. The NOPD is investigating four separate shootings, which ended in five people dead and two additional uh, people injured overnight. The student who died and Eleanor McMain Sr. who was gunned down on Russo Street. And that's where we find WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor, who is live. Shay, what do we know about this teenage victim? Travis and Gina, I'm told that Zarek LeBeau had actually just recently taken his gap, cap and gown photos. He was so very much looking forward to walking across the stage. He was set to graduate from Eleanor McMain on May 9th, but now his family is planning his funeral. When I got the telephone call, it was like something had been hit me in my stomach. It was like unreal. And then when I made it off the bridge and I got here and I seen the peep out and I seen the yellow tape, it was just like, it still was like it's unreal. Darlene says Zarek LeBeau was like a nephew to her. Friday morning, she came out to the place where he was killed, still in disbelief. It happened every day in the city, but it really hit hard when it's close. Friends say the 17 year old was either leaving or going into Pizza Hut around 7 p.m. Thursday night when he was ambushed, shot multiple times along this sidewalk. LeBeau is one of five people killed Thursday night in New Orleans in four separate shootings across the city. This student was respectful. Uh, he was bright. Uh, he was a joy to work with. Our teachers really poured into him a lot to get him to this day. Jamar McNeely says LeBeau was a senior at Eleanor McMain, just days away from graduation after working so very hard. He went to extra counseling. He went to extra tutoring after school to make sure he could fulfill what he was trying to accomplish, and he got there. And now he would not be able to walk across that stage just to a senseless act. It's a definitely unfortunate day in our city. McNeely says the teen was heavily involved in his senior class. Now family and friends will have to deal with the grief of losing a teen who was looking forward to his future. I just want, I want it to stop. When it's going to stop? How many more children are we going to have to lay to rest before the violence stops? It's like these children are living in a world of their own and the adults we just here. We just here watching everything that is happening. And on your screen right now, a statement from interim police chief Michelle Whitfork. She says in part, these senseless acts of violence are disheartening and won't be tolerated. She goes on to say the department is working aggressively to identify the persons responsible. And I'm told the other young person that was shot on last night lived along Lawrence Road in New Orleans East. But that being said, if you do have any information at all about these separate four shootings, you're being urged to contact Crime Stoppers at 822-1111. Reporting live, Shay O'Connor. WDSU News. All right, Shay, thank you. WDSU is working to get you more details on these crimes as the NOPD works to find the shooters. For what we know so far and new developments, you can go right now to WDSU.com and, of course, our free mobile app. The time is 5.03.